When the operation is done, they start by cutting a flap. Now, the flap is made with a laser or, 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 or a knife similar to this. It gets under there and lifts a flap of the top level of the eye off. This is called a cornea. And it flips it up like this. And then Elizabeth can demonstrate what's done next. A laser is beamed into the eye in that gap that's been created. And with that, they can actually reshape the cornea. And when you do that, you can change the way you'll see either up close or far away. When the LASIK procedure is done, this top part, this part of the cornea that's been sliced, is replaced where it needs to be. And once it's in the right spot, it stays. Now, that's the goal. And what are the complications that sometimes happen with this, Elizabeth? Well, the flap really is a key part of it. They can cut it too thin, too thick. Very rarely they slice all the way through. But even if they get it perfect, when they put it back down, just like we're struggling with, it doesn't necessarily heal perfectly. Studies show that it's kind of like a Tupperware container. It seals up around the edges, but not necessarily in the middle. So years later, you can be rubbing your eye or your child can poke in the eye, and that thing can come dislodged. Yeah. And when it does become dislodged, this gap that rep is represented in this little model becomes a big issue. And, you know, it can be subtle, right? You jump into a pool, an accident, kid pokes you like this, and all of a sudden, this like jack-in-the-box is off where it's supposed to be.